Hey, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Don Crowley. I, I'm a milk quality specialist at Chagas, based in Clannacilty. And we're here today to demonstrate the California Mastitis Test Kit. It's a rapid test method to identify high cell count quarters within high cell count cows. This is the type of farm that you can buy in with a tray with four different wells for representing four different quarters. And the reagent then is applied in equal quantities amongst the four wells. Ideally, when you're going trying to identify the high cell count quarters within the high, within high cell count cows, if you had a milk recording done or your cell count back from the co-op, then we'll go to the high cell count cows and try and identify the high cell count quarters within them. Ideally, when you're going doing this procedure, it should be done prior to milking. So before the cow is milked, you should do this test. You milk the first couple of squirts onto the ground. Get that as the waste milk first, and then you put apply your milk to each well individually, front left, front right, back right, back left. Trying to avoid cross infection when you're applying into it. This can be quite difficult to do with cows that could be quite agitated and stuff. So for people that are new at it, we would highly recommend that you get your four sample bottles and take a sample from each quarter. Front left, front right, back right, back left. They're identified, you know your cow, and then at the end of the milking, you're able to go through the procedure and you've time to analyze the results and record them. So I have my samples collected from this morning's milking and I'm going to analyze now which quarter is the high quarter within the cows. So when you're, when you're purchasing your CMT test kit, you will get your reagent with it as well. It's at a nominal cost, eight to nine euros. That will do a lot of cows. Don't use homemade mixes. Buy the proper stuff when you're getting to train, your, train yourself. When we're looking at the trays, in each tray, there's a line here on each tray, on either side of the tray. And that's to indicate that when I tilt it forward, I have an equal quantity of milk in all four. I've just highlighted it there. It's hard to see it, but there's a white line along there, which represents where the milk should be. And I'll show you that now. So I have my samples from my cows. So I go front left, my sample in, front right, Sample in, back right, back left. So I have my samples now in, into my well. What I do next is I tilt it to 45 degrees until the milk comes in contact with that white line that I, I highlighted to you earlier. So now I have an equal quantity of milk in all four wells. I squeeze the bottle to roughly there's a 50-50 mix inside it and you basically you stir the solution and stir it quite aggressively. It will take a number of seconds for the reagent to react with the somatic cell counts that are in, in the milk. So the higher the cell count, the more, the more gloopy it will become. So as we tip it forward and back, we're looking for a reaction within the system itself. So as I look at these cows, when I look down on it automatically, it's very difficult to see any difference in that. It's when you actually stir it, you can see the graininess in the front left. This is the front left quarter. See when I tip it back and forward, it's very gooey, stick to the plant, whereas these run very even in the other three quarters. So my high cell count quarter is my front left quarter. This is probably 20 to 30 seconds into it. So this cow, which has a cell count of around 2 million, it's the front left quarter is the problem quarter. The other quarters are well under 200,000, probably 30, 40,000. So now I can identify and treat this a quarter. If you tilt it up, it may be quite sticky and gloopy. For, to get that kind of a reaction, the quarter needs to be two to three million in cell count. If there's just little grains in it, but it's still quite watery, it's between 500 and a million, million and a half. And that's sort of a rough guide for us. Look, it's, it's important when you're doing the CMT test to record the quarters that are high as you're going along. You may have a number of cows you're doing, so it's very important to record them. So if you take just this, this is a very simple example, I have my clipboard, I have my white sheet of paper, I have my cow number, 1633 was the cow we just did, and I'm going to record then what was the results of the CMT. We basically rank it from one, two, or a three. One is very good, liquidy, no reaction, very liquidy. Two is poor, you'll see some graininess within the well, but not very thick. And three then is very poor, where it's thick and nearly sticking to the paddle itself, as that was shown in that previous, as an example we've just shown. So if we're recording this in it, we just make our little box. The front left is a three, and the others were a one. They were very good. So it's the front left. 
And if I record that down long, what I'm doing is I'm looking, see, is there any trend in it? Is there a lot of front lefts, front rights? Is there a pattern to it? Is it a contagious mastitis that may be spreading through the liners or something that you can talk to your vet or advisor about? But it just gives you an idea of how the mastitis is working through your heart.